hi guys welcome back to my channel for another video today i'm in all the fall vibes like i woke up this morning it was cloudy it was cooler than it has been out and i was just thinking how i want to like have a very chill cozy fall vibe type of day i have my alani new witches brew my favorite i also just got a whole order of new clothes in the mail from white fox white fox is actually sponsoring this video so thank you guys i love you it just came recently and i have I haven't tried anything on so i'm super excited i'm actually wearing the sweatpants right now because i live for their sweatsuits also the starbucks fall drinks came out today and you guys know it's never a claudia vlog until i try the starbucks drinks i already did my workout i obviously got ready you know first time in a while i've worn makeup on youtube i don't wear makeup during the week honestly i usually don't unless i'm like filming something or in the mood to get ready or got new products but i got new products to try and i also wanted to try a new lip combo and i love it it looks so good and glossy so if you guys know what that is you just head to my tiktok let's go upstairs and try on some new cute clothes welcome to my guest room i thought this would be perfect for a try on haul because it has lots of windows ew there's a bug get out of here thank you to white fox for sending me all these pieces they also stock white fox swim and white fox active as well if you guys want to check that out and afterpay is also available for all us australian and new zealand customers i think i'm going to start with pajamas because you guys know my obsession especially if you follow me on tiktok with my pajama set so when I saw that White Fox had all of these colors, I had to have them all. Let me just show you. Okay, here is the first one. It's this cute yellow color. It's, so it's basically it's just shorts and then these long sleeves. And the material is this ribbed super stretchy material. I think I got every color that they offer, or at least majority of them. So I got it in this yellow color. I also got it in this baby pink color, which is probably my favorite one because pink is my favorite color. I also got it in this gray. I think the gray is perfect. I also feel like these sets are perfect for like the fall transitioning into winter because I love sleeping in shorts since I get kind of hot but I love having a long sleeve on too but they're just so cute you guys I'm obsessed with this one. Oh my gosh. It's a one piece and it's short. So it's so cute and it's not too hot or anything. But hear me out. Imagine this with some white like mid-calf high socks and my little platform slippers. I feel like that would be so cute to like lounge around the house in. And it fits perfect and the material is so comfortable and stretchy. Slay. All of the two-piece sets are called the Girl Talk Pajama Set. And then this cute little romper is called the Dream With You romper in the color lilac. Okay, for the next things moving forward, I tried to piece together like actual things that I would wear as outfits or that I could envision possibly wearing as outfits. But I got this little tank top. It reminds me of like the Prada logo, but it's White Fox. And then I got some sweats to go with it. And then I got the matching hoodie to go with it. It has the matching logo right here. And they're just like so thick and soft soft and weighted it's the she's a baddie hoodie in jolly green and then the do the most sweatpants i get a size i think this is a small medium because i like them to be like pretty baggy and oversized but like look how cute and comfy this is and i still look super put together i love it i also did get another sweat set this is in the color moon it's the off stage hoodie and then the matching sweatpants so these ones have a pocket the white fox logo in white this one has it on the back too and then the detail on the front and then i did just get another one this is the leisure series oversized hoodie in glacier gray i got an extra small small but i just like to have a good basic gray pieces to wear because this is like something i wear often when it gets cooler out so here's that one on and then with this i got the she's golden shorts in the color gray marl i just thought these would be cute together like the gray detail kind of goes together okay moving on to the more cuter fancier stuff that is like for dinners and i don't know when i want to look like a little bit extra cute this is the lesson learned mini skirt in the color cream and i actually love this because mini skirts never freaking fit me they're always too big somewhere but this one actually fits perfect and it's a little bit stretchy too which i love and then i paired it with this little brown t-shirt i just folded it under to make it cropped and then there's also a matching jacket for the skirt this is the meet me backstage oversized jacket so it's meant to be oversized but i just have nothing like this in my closet like no matching sets that are like this so i thought maybe it would be like something cute and different to wear when I want to go out to dinner. So adorable. Jeans are another thing that never fit me, but I'm feeling like these fit pretty perfect. I don't have any jeans that are this color, so let's put a shirt on. Okay, this next shirt is definitely like a booby shirt. It shows a lot of cleavage, but it is cute to be worn out. I feel like with a mini skirt or even a pair of like jeans and booties, it's 
very flattering if I do say so myself. Next is this little crop top. It's called the Where Have You Been Crop in Black. Another really cute one. I love having more simple colored basic type shirts like this in my closet because whenever I'm going to like something nicer, it's super easy just to pick something out. It looks cute with jeans, it looks cute with skirt, shorts, anything. Next up is this little bubblegum pink crop top. I think it's called the What About Me crop top in bubblegum. I do need some pasties with it and I couldn't find any. So we're just gonna be censored like this, but it is so cute. I love this with a cute denim skirt. I feel like this would be so cute to wear to like a event or a party or going out or anything, but yeah obsessed with this love pink all right sticking with pink here's another thing that i love so much so it's actually a tube top and it has this little bow and lace detail right here and then it has this little bolero i think that's what they're called that goes on top of it so it's two pieces but when it's together it looks so put together i feel like it's so cute you can also just wear it on its own like this just as cute i love anything pink so this is right up my alley okay the next thing is a two-piece outfit it's a maxi skirt actually it might be a mini skirt but on me it's a maxi skirt and it comes with this really pretty little top this is so comfy and it has like this ruching right here so it's super flattering i love this i love the shade i love everything about it it's so cute and so comfortable all right i'm not even gonna lie i was like fully expecting to actually like really hate this on myself because i just never wear anything like this but it's pretty cute i actually don't hate it i kind of love it it's just like a jumpsuit obviously and then it buttons up so you can button it as like tight or as loose as you want i feel like with a bra that pushes my cleavage up this would be super cute i'm a fan you guys will have to let me know what you think because like i'm kind of unsure but it also is cute but it's just so out of my comfort zone that i'm uh, i'm not sure okay here's the last thing that i'm going to show you guys i had to have this even if i don't wear it until next summer it's the cutest bathing suit first of all has this little bow detail on the skirt the top and then i also have the bottoms as well and it's just like a ribbed detailing but the reason i loved it so much was because it comes with this matching skirt cover up like whenever i'm on like a vacation i hate just like walking around in my bathing suit or like i always want some sort of cover up and then i have to find cover ups that match all my bathing suits so i was completely sold on this because you can order the skirt with it that matches it perfectly and it's like the cutest little outfit together this is called the sweetest summer bikini top and then the summer rain mini skirt both in white that is it for my haul look at the bed it's a mess but i'm not cleaning it up right now because I don't feel like it. Jesse is working. He's in Texas away for filming videos. Wait, actually, look how cute these look together. <laughs> it's just me, myself, and I, and the cats, and the kids. And honestly, like, I, of course, whenever Jesse's not here, I miss him so much because the house is very lonely. Like, it's not a home unless we're both here, you know what I mean? But I will say, I feel like I've been so productive. I'm also in my follicular phase. Oh, there's a groundhog. We have so much wildlife here. It's like the best thing ever. But I watched this tiktok the other day let me educate you guys for a quick second for all my ladies out there i personally feel this so strongly and i was so interested to learn this because it makes so much sense to me as to why i feel the way i do and i feel like we all should know like why we feel the way we feel sometimes basically like i'm sure a lot of us have learned this at some point or another in life but you have a luteal phase and a follicular phase and basically like the week before your period is your luteal phase which is why you feel fatigued and tired and grumpy and you just want to eat carbs and sleep and I literally just ended my period so five days ago I was going through this and I was like what is wrong with me I literally thought I was getting sick I told Jesse this was like last week I was like I must be getting really sick or something because I was so tired like drained like I couldn't even switch the laundry over from the washer to the dryer I was just like I don't have it in me I have no energy I tried working out one of the days and it was the most sad workout I've ever had in my entire life so you have that then you go through your period we all know what that is like and then when your period ends you go through your follicular phase and it all starts over but then when you go through your follicular phase you're like upbeat you have a lot of energy you're lifting heavier at the gym you are just more active you get more things done more productive and i feel it so much like literally today i think it's like i started my follicular phase and i just feel so good ever since i got up this morning i've been go 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 like doing content getting things done that i need to get done opening packages that was just my little explanation if you guys care at all but I thought it was very interesting to learn because it helps me like understand why I feel the way I feel. Anyway, I think I'm gonna go edit my TikTok vlog so I can get that up, but I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. It is a few days later and I just got back from the gym, but I'm gonna put on some makeup because Jesse and I are gonna go try some 
Starbucks fall drinks. I've yet to go to Starbucks since the fall drinks came out. That's like a crime. Yesterday I organized my makeup and I'm gonna show you guys. I'm so proud of this. It's all on my TikTok, but I organized everything in these little drawers that I got and it just looks so good. And then I have this little section over here with all my lip pencils and eyeshadow sticks and my cute little Alani new picture. I'm obsessed with this because I just feel like it's so cool. This is the coolest thing ever. It's one of the photo shoots I did for them with the gummies. It's like a little bit of motivation. So let's do some makeup. I think I want to try this today. It's the Fenty Pro Filter Soft Matte Foundation. They sent me like a little sample of it. So I figured I would see. I have like the tiniest bit of blush and concealer on because my skin is like going through it right now. I don't really know what's happening. Going to prime my face with some of this setting spray. I was just like spraying something to like rehydrate my skin. Having like an organized vanity has changed my life in terms of getting ready. I usually can never find anything, but now I can really like pick things out and try new things and it's just so much fun. The shade is definitely like slightly too tan, but sorry, right, we'll fix it with concealer. Oh, I like this though. This foundation is nice. Then I'm gonna use the Rare Beauty Under Eye Brightener. This is one of my favorite products because you don't need a lot. I just use like a little bit before my concealer. And honestly, this could probably act as concealer, but it's like for me, I just put a little bit there and then it brightens my under eyes up so much without like covering them too much, I guess you could say. And then I use the Tarte Radiant. I love this concealer because it really is super radiant. Looking good. Hopefully this matches my chest. Not really. I'm just going to use this is my favorite bronzer product. It's the Makeup by Mario Skin Enhancer. Mine's in the shade Light Medium. I just love this product. It's like so natural and blendable and buildable. It's like a nice natural little bronze to make it look like I do sit out in the sun even though I do not be so down here just to blend in. Okay, we're looking good. Then I'm gonna use the Makeup by Mario blush. It's in Pinch Me Pink. I love blush. I was never like a big blush person until I feel like, I don't know, like the last year or so. I've gotten into it so much. I love putting a shit ton of blush on. <laughs> like it's never enough. Like you think it's like too much and you're like, oh, I'm gonna look like a clown. But by the time your makeup's done, you're like, wait, I feel like I need more. And then I also put it up on my forehead just so it's like balanced out. Makes you look nice and sun-kissed. I freaking love it. One of the products I definitely can't live without is blush really just brings you to life, you know? Then we do powder. So my favorite powder is the Huda Beauty one. This one is cherry blossom cake. And then I also have pound cake. And I use these little things from Amazon. So I just like smooth it out real quick with my beauty blender to make sure there's no creases. And then I press this into it and I'm obsessed. It looks so good. It's never like too white and I don't get that flashback look. And I also like used to not like these little hoop things, but I feel like after you use them a few times, they get really really good press off any extra and then some highlighter actually i think i want to add some powder blush because i feel like my blush see like it already faded away it's not enough so i usually just use this tart one in peaceful and go over top of whatever i put on and it just looks so good then highlighter this is the rare beauty and enlightened best highlighters they're like so beautiful and so I'm gonna tip up my nose sometimes I put it up on my eyes honestly you can just put it everywhere but my cupid's bow glow moving on to eyes I already did my eyebrow gel this morning but I would use the rare beauty one it's amazing and then mascara my favorite mascara right now is the Kylash lash from Kylie cosmetics they've like really stepped up their game every product from them lately I'm like wow this is so nice and I desperately need to order another mascara from them like look how crusty this is i need a new one but it's just so good you know what there's nothing worse than when you're doing mascara and you accidentally poke it in your eye and like blink hard and then it's all on your concealer and you're like wow all my hard work just ruined and then one of my favorite things is i always use this ulta eyeliner it's in matte powder pink it's the ulta brand and i line my waterline with it because it just brightens it up so much but it's not like the white eyeliner where it's like too harsh can you tell the difference it makes my eyes look just like a little bit bigger i love it one of my favorite parts of the whole process is my lips. I just got these three new lip pencils from Makeup by Mario and I haven't tried them yet, but I think I'm gonna try this one. This is in the shade Hue and I love these because they come with a little brush on the other end and I feel like I always need to blend it out a little bit, but I just like will use my finger. This is like my perfect shade. Like look how pretty that is. 
And then you can take the little brush and just blend it a little. I love that so much. Last but not least for lips, I think I'm gonna put a little bit of this Poutsicle from Fenty Beauty. It's in the color My Type. I'm gonna put a little bit of this right here in the center. And then I think I'm gonna do a little bit of the Summer Fridays Butter Balm. This one is in Vanilla Beige. I love these. I have every shade and I love them all. It's just like a nice nude. They smell so good and it's literally just like a hydrating lip balm. So it's super comfortable to wear. I'm gonna like set this all with my professional. feels so good. All right, that is the finished look. Now I need to go do something with my hair because I should have slept with heatless curls in. It's a mess today now. For my hair, I'm just gonna do a headband. That's what I always do whenever I don't feel like putting any more heat on my hair. Just like this. Now I'm gonna tuck all my hair in and then I bring it around like this and it gives you like that perfect, what is like an 80s look, 90s, 80s. And I don't really have to do anything to my hair after that because it looks put together. And then I got my little gold hoops in and I think I'm gonna wear this cute little top from white fox all right here's the top with the little headband i feel like it looks cute and then i just put on some plain black leggings and i'm gonna wear my little slippers i'm gonna put on this deodorant if you like the smell of like a clean baby i know that sounds really weird but that's what this smells like and it is the best deodorant it works so well and then my favorite body spray is the brazilian crush 40 and I always get deodorant on my shirt. The way to get it off is just you have to rub like another fabric on it. And there we go. All right, just need my shoes and I'm ready to go. Can I please get a water? And then the apple crisp oat milk. A, uh, a small? Tall, uh, yeah. A small um, apple, apple crisp. Oh, what is it? Oat milk shake espresso. Oat milk shake and espresso. And then a small pumpkin cream cold brew. Small pumpkin cream cold brew. All right, that's all. We're good. Thank you. We got our drinks, and now we're going to try them. We got three different ones, but the one that I'm most excited about is the oh, iced fuck. apple shaken espresso. This one sounds so good because I love apple all Apple crisp oat milk shake, shaken espresso. espresso. What is it? What the hell? Holy crap. Tastes like a fall candle. Really? Mm-hmm. Why is it that asking a man to order a Starbucks drink is like asking them to speak another language? Yes, right. is like, can I get the... Uh, apple um tall um i couldn't even she told me it once and i was like i don't even know what you just said that's really good that's amazing yeah that's it really good. tastes like so mm. fall so fall and then one of my favorites it's the pumpkin cream cold brew so it's literally just like cold brew with pumpkin cold foam you gotta mix it first Teach them how to, how, to, how to mix their girls. They know how, never mind. I told Jesse, he always tries to mix his coffee. And I'm like, you have to do this. Like you do like big- you just swirl it. Big swirls and it mixes. No? Mm. No, the, it's the cold brew that I don't like. It needs sweetener. Yeah, it's like a little bit bitter. But it's pretty good though. Mm, okay, that was really good. Okay, then the last one, I don't ever get chai drinks, like chai tea what lattes. What is, oh, it's a tea? It's a tea, yeah. So this is the pumpkin chai. And a lot of cold foam. You're gonna get all cold foam. I'm not a fan of chai tea. It's very fall tasting, but it's just like- I like it because I don't have dairy and the cold foam is really good. I forgot about a pumpkin spice latte. PSL. Damn, you forgot the PSL? <laughs> no, but this one is definitely my favorite. The apple crisp shaken espresso. Who the hell knows what the name is? They make it like 45 words. Mmm, this one is so good. Banging. I got a lemon loaf. If you've never had the Starbucks lemon loaf, this shit is so good. You want some? Small taste. I've been eating bad lately. There's no such thing as eating bad. Okay, I haven't eaten at home since this morning. Food is fuel. We don't call food bad. There's more nutritious options, but not bad options. Sure. The icing is the best heart. Since when are you an icing person? Only on this. Mmm. It's good. That's freaking like sour. Lemon. Mm. 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 It's so good. That's all for our fall drink. You're my favorite fall drink. That's the worst pickup line. Give me some flavor. No. <laughs>